SQL Server 2012 Pro. This is Kalmantov. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and in your local bookstore. Let's consider how to build a comma separated list which is frequently used uh, by developers uh, even though it's not exactly within the confines of uh, relational databases but rather for practical purposes. There is a new way to generate a comma separated list and this is the new way. Now, it's very hard to understand this logic because XML path is involved. There is no other way of doing it except you have to practice it and memorize it. Let's see what element the stuff is because we are making the list as comma and element so when we are finished we are replacing the very first comma with an empty space so that's why we need the stuff. This statement here makes the subquery a correlated subquery because we just want to list correlated items in this case colors. We need the distinct because we don't want to list colors more than once in the list and uh, this is the outer query, which is just a very simple query. We are filtering for bike in the category in the subcategory name. Let's execute the query. So here is the result. This is, uh, for example, for road bikes. We are building the uh, comma separated uh, list, and this is it. Because of the stop function, the first comma was uh, replaced with an empty space. And uh, this way, because we are putting the commas to the front, we don't have to worry about an ending comma. Due to the correlation in the subquery, we get the appropriate list for road bikes, mountain bikes, and touring bikes. The plus in this uh, query is uh, a concatenation operator, string concatenation. In SQL Server 2012, we can replace it with a concat. So this is the same query with a concat operator. Execute and we get a little bit different results. We don't have nulls because concat uh, instead of null returns empty space and where we have some list comma separated values list it's, it is the same as we were plus concatenation operator in summary with xml path we can generate comma separated list. Now the big thing about this is that we can do this within the confines of a query. We could do the same in a regular T-SQL without XML path, but it requires uh, multiple lines script. So a little program as to say as opposed to um, a an expression within um, a SQL Server T-SQL query. This is the end of a short demo.